Hey guys, what's up? How are you all doing? So, um, I thought maybe we could retouch this picture together. And by together, I mean I recorded for you guys. So, um, my, I want to post this picture on Instagram this morning. So, so, let me just quickly retouch it and record it while I'm doing it. Maybe you guys might appreciate it. Alright, so first thing I'm going to go to camera calibration, change that to camera portrait. I'm going to reduce the white balance a bit. To That's cool. No, I don't want portrait. I'm going with standard. It's too red. No, yeah, I like that. Alright, I'm going to increase clarity to plus 10. To do vibrance at plus 20 and saturation minus 10. Let's start with that. Um, shadows, I'm going to increase a bit. Blacks, reduce. Whites, reduce. Highlights, increase. Really pump up the highlight sides, really white. I'm going to go to lens, enable both, but then reduce the distortion back to zero. I want to remove the vignetting and i think that's okay i'm not going to do any sharpening i'm going to open a copy and let me change my actions back to button mode okay so first things first let's start healing so i was watching this video yesterday by um pratik and he said the healing brush that we should try a hard one so let's see that that would work Legacy healing brush 100% hardness. I've never tried it before, so let's see. Oh, it looks okay. Actually, it looks good. Oh, it's actually working nice. I'm going to increase, reduce. And let's see what else needs healing. Yeah. To heal that. Oops, didn't work. Also, didn't work. Let's try here. So, didn't really work. I might take care of that and um, frequency separation. It might not work, so you guys don't try to use the tool. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Move on to something else. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm liking that. It's really good. Alright, so I'm going to flatten that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run frequency separation in my frequency separation action. Um, I'm going to bring the radius to maybe 15. Click OK. Alright, I'm going to the tones, filter, manganic portraiture. These are my settings, plus 13 and everything, 33. I'm going to take my mask. It's already selected with mask. And I like that mask. Alright, so these are the settings I use. Click OK. Okay, I'm seeing a few blotchy areas, so I'm going to take my mixer brush. These are the settings I use for my mixer brush. 
going to come up to the head and kind of like smoothing the blotchy areas up here. When you've been doing this thing for a while, your, your eye kind of gets trained to see it. So you guys might not be able to see it, but I do. This just gets me. Alright, let's. to dodge and burn dodge and burn I'll craft a circle to black white layer and then I'll set my curse oops okay I'm gonna take the bird brush and use two percent flow zoom in so I just want to kind of like kind of reduce these areas just reducing all the areas that kind of have problem. any other area that I really like needs help okay so I'm going to change my flow to 10% and for this one I'm going to contour so trying to contour this place just like kind of reshaping the face I'm just going to kind of like darken the roots of the hair, the eyebrows, the eyeshadow. But more burning is like that's when you really like kind of start to see the shape of the face come out. I'm usually very careful about how I burn the cheeks. So I usually just give it one pass like that and I'm done. Don't want to do it too much and turn it off turn it on turn it off turn it on and i think that's okay so i'm going to turn off the black and white i'm going to stamp that um control alt shift e then i'm going to flatten with this okay then i'm going to go to magic eyes action i want to do clean up the eyes this is a 16-bit file so it's going to take a while to run let her run, let her run, let her run. Run, run, run. Run. You don't always have to do it in 16 bit, so you can actually like process your file as an 8 bit. I actually ought to have processed this as an 8 bit. I don't know why. I'm just used to running 16 bit. But if your system is slow, it's better to, to um, process your files as 16 bit. I mean at 8 bits, sorry. Okay, so this is the magic eye action. This is the action I use for cleaning eyes. I'm going to go to the whites of the eyes and I'm going to start brushing. Can you see that? It's cleaning it and it's not like brightening it excessively. Like if you were using like um, that um, light room, as that's one of the ways you can know your picture is really bad. It's from the eyes when it's unnecessary, unhealthy white. Let's go to the light. See, I'm using a 10% flow brush. And I'm okay with that. See? Not bad. I like it like that. So I'm going to flatten this. Now, time to color grade. So I created a gradient map, black and white. If your stuff isn't black and white, it's this third one here. Change it to 20%. And then change it to luminosity. And I'm going to go to um, brightness and contrast. 
10 percent i'm going to go to selective color i'm going to take the blacks down maybe add a bit of cyan in the blacks i'm going to go to the reds darken the reds add a bit of magenta and a bit more red in the reds let's go to the white add some cyan add some yellow five five let's go to the neutrals darken it a bit all right let's see how that looks and you see just adding some punch i'm going to go to my ultimate retouch panel i want to match my picture so i create this matte curve basically if you see it it's just three dots the first dot is at 0, 47, the second dot is 57, 57, 58, 58, and then the third dot is um, 252, 255, simple. And then you change it to luminosity. And I'm going to reduce this to 25%, just kind of like gives it a very matte kind of, and I think it goes well on darker skin. Okay. Um, the next thing I am going to do, I'm going to flatten all of this. So this is where we start from and this is where we are. I am going to duplicate this. I'm going to go to filter, click the fly. I want to get rid of this bump in the head. So I'm going to go to the freeze mask tool and I'm going to freeze all of this i want to get rid of that bump it's a bump here so i'm going to take the forward warp tool increase it pressure i'm going to reduce it to 10 and all right let's see how that works okay that's cool then take a clone stamp tool the clone stamp tool um hardness is at between 60 to 70 percent and flow at 70. i don't want to waste time on this i'm going to zoom in here and clean it out oops current time below sorry let's clean it out a bit Oops, that's too much. Clean out a bit more. Well, you guys, by the way, I'm using a mouse, so, so you really don't need a Wacom tablet. You can use a mouse, not a trackpad, a mouse. All right. So let's flatten that again. Let's see where we are. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to filter, nick collection, color effects. Oh, that was my phone. I got a message. Yoohoo! Nice. So I've already I used the detail extractor, detail extractor of 5%, contrast at 6%, and saturation at 8%, effect radius normal. And click OK. Lime. I basically, you're going to see, it's going to give me this kind of like sharpness and bring out detail in the skin that I just like. It just makes the pictures look very realistic. everything so I'm going to create a mask take my brush it's at 30% flow white brush and then start to paint paint it over the areas that I want I usually want it over the face and maybe the jewelry just give it that sense of bring up that texture ta-da all right flatten again 
And finally, last but not the least, I'm going to add my green. I always add green to all my pictures because green kind of like hides. Sometimes if you've gone too far and you really retouch, you might have this kind of blotchiness. But the green will hide that. And I already have a green action that I've created. I'm going to flatten that. So basically, that's where we are. Before, after, before, after, before, after. All right, hope you guys. I'm gonna hope you guys have learned a little bit. It's just basically a very quick retouch for an image that's going to go into Instagram. Actually, I like it, and I'm gonna upload it now. Bye.